Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my credit card videos and today I'll talk about the changes coming to the Scotiabank Momentum Visa Infinite credit card. If this is your first time here, on this channel I do travel videos, videos on credit card points and yours and most likely this is the only channel or site where you, you're going to find non-affiliated, unbiased and honest opinions about credit cards because 99% of the other sites you're looking at online, they're actually affiliated and working for, for the credit card companies and uh, they're selling the credit cards on those sites so you're not going to get honest opinions and unbiased opinions from them that's why uh, Canadians are coming to my site to get honest and unbiased opinions on credit cards and yesterday I had a video about uh, the Scotiabank Gold American Express credit card and today basically I'm doing the second part of the video which is the upcoming changes coming to the Scotiabank Momentum Visa Infinite credit card. Now these changes are not confirmed yet uh, so I'm just uh, assuming that you know what uh, these sites leaked are true and uh, the changes are supposed to take effect starting August 1st 2019. So if you'd like to see the Scotiabank Gold American Express video, uh, I'll provide the link in the description box below and uh, today I'll talk about the Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite credit card. If you compare the changes which are coming to the Scotiabank Gold American Express and Scotiabank Momentum Visa Infinite credit card, it looks like to me that uh, the changes that are coming to the Scotiabank uh, Momentum Visa Infinite are not that exciting like uh, the American Express Gold credit card because American Express Gold credit card uh, is removing the foreign currency transaction fee adding uh, some more benefits which i talked about yesterday uh, and uh, let's look at uh, the benefits or changes that are coming to the scotia momentum uh, visa card so the first thing you'll notice that uh, the annual fee is no longer going to be 99 dollars uh, uh, for primary and 30 dollars for the additional called card holders it is going to be 120 dollars and 50 dollars and the next change I can see here is that the reverse structure so our rate is still going to be 44% uh, on the grocery and there's a new category uh, being added uh, to the 4% list which is the recurring bill payments and the 2% is now have uh, gas and daily transit so the gas is moving from 4% uh, category to 2% category and a new category uh, daily transit is being added to the 2% and everything else is and drugstore purchases remain at uh, 1% in the past uh, one uh, drugstore would be at 2% category and uh, the travel medical uh, insurance there is no change uh, if you are looking at the American Express uh, gold then we saw there that you know uh, they are no longer giving the coverage for over 65 but this card didn't have any coverage for over 65 so there's nothing changed here but the one thing which is changing here that uh, this card didn't have any trip cancellation insurance but now you're going to have uh, trip cancellation insurance and uh, which is a new uh, feature added to this card and there's no change in trip interruption insurance and if you look at all other insurances for example flight delay delayed baggage and travel accident uh, collision loss damage and purchase security extended warranty there's no changes but we see a new category for insurance which is the mobile mobile insurance or cell phone insurance and you'll be able to get uh, $1,000 uh, up to $1,000 for lost stolen or uh, broken or accidental damage uh, due to the accidental damage uh, coverage which we didn't see it before so this is a new uh, category and uh, visa infinite benefits uh, it's not changing because th these changes are uh, related to the score visa infinite uh, so Scotiabank has no kind of changes these benefits anyone who has a visa infinite card actually has the same uh, benefits which are mentioned right here uh, for example the concierge the music service and uh, wine wonders and so these benefits so the main difference between this card and the 
American Express Gold uh, Scotia Bank card is the 5% category. The American Express has uh, for some uh, items 5%, but this card is 4%. Looks like to me that uh, the Scotia Bank Gold American Express is a better option uh, to have uh, rather than the Scotia Bank uh, Visa Infinite card. But I believe they are trying to increase the benefits on the Scotia Momentum card uh, due to the fact that uh, some people do not want to have any American Express credit card so they can uh, go with the new Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite credit card if uh, these changes make sense to them uh, for example if you are you know okay with the 4% uh, which is still a very high return on grocery and uh, bill payments and 2% on gas then uh, this is a card for you but uh, uh, this card is still is charging a foreign currency transaction fee and it doesn't provide any uh, lounge benefits or anything but uh, in terms of insurance uh, the insurance looks like uh, they're good insurances and uh, so Scotia Bank is trying to capture uh, those who are looking for a cashback credit card but still would like to have travel benefits accesses so this is kind of uh, a ca travel cashback credit card and uh, the other thing is that the annual fee is going up as well uh, 120 and 50 dollars overall comparison definitely scotia bank gold american express is a better card in uh, every way except that you know it is american express uh, network card so it may not be accepted everywhere but uh, scotia momentum is a visa card so it has more acceptance than american express so that's all i wanted to talk about today if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, subscribe. If you do not like the video, uh, definitely you can also unlike and you can leave a comment. And if you like, you can also leave a comment. So don't forget to subscribe because there will be a lot more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.